What's my favorite word? Shit. Yeah, yeah. Why a face double? Yeah, you know me. Yeah. I'm a clean sleeve stepper. ATL rapper, clean sleeve stepper. My people, my people, my people, my people. What it is, I am T. Ward, YFHB. I'm back up in this thing, man. What it is, YouTube, what it is. What's happening with y'all this day today? I got an early on boxing on deck for today. Thanks to my guys, Next One. Shout out to you, bro. Appreciate that. Um, again, Next One. Uh, make sure y'all go follow my guy, Next One, on Instagram. Um, if you if he get a sneaker early and you are on the fence about getting a sneaker, he gonna post about at least five to ten pictures on that particular sneaker with the matching hat. Um, if you ever on the fence about um the sneaker, like I just said, you know you can make your decision from there. Last time this shoe came out, they Nike joint brand, they didn't do it right. Hopefully, they did this uh the 2020 version um is just as that is due so without further ado let's get into it and here it is man as you can see black box red jump man um same cement on the box on the box one when it comes to this particular retro uh silhouette but one difference is it has nike air on it. and another difference i see i feel it could just be me um than the other the past retros that come in this box is that um it feels a little bit thinner the box doesn't feel as bulky as the uh past retros in this um, particular box but um this is the air jordan 5 retro and the color spectrum is true white fire red and black and it is in the great size 10 at the retail value at 200 of them stripper one this shoe came out back in 2013 and like i was saying in the beginning of the video nike did not do it right nike joint did not do this shoe as it should have been so like i say hopefully it is done correct this time okay i can tell the leather feels different already the leather feels different already and here they are the air jordan 5 aka uh jordan 5 fire red 69 points that's what they that's what nike brand them as jordan scored 69 points against the cleveland cavaliers back in 1990 he wore these fire red shoes on this past sunday nike did a early drop before the last dance came on. And I hope they do, I hope they do another one next, but I hope the next one is the Flex or something like that. Next week, so I'm gonna have my phone in hand at 9 p.m. Speaking of the last dance, that documentary is dope, man. I like how they put that together. It's, I learned so much, man, brought back a lot of memories. One thing, two things I didn't know, uh, I guess this is about Scottie Pippen, one, I didn't know he was uh, drafted by the uh, Seattle C Super Sun. I didn't know that. I didn't know uh, the Bulls traded for him. And two, how you ma how he made two million dollars, man? How did he make two million dollars during that 97, 98 season, man? I don't. I get I get why he did it, but that the GM was a, a complete. I can't, I can't uh, uh, say what I really want to say, but every, everybody that's seen the documentary, like, what, Scotty? We didn't have, I don't, I don't mean this to be long-winded about this, but back then, and, and back then, we, the internet was probably just just about booming in, um, getting off to a, it, it wasn't like it is now. We didn't keep up with the play. We didn't know the player's salaries like we do today. And for Scotty Pippen to make two mil and Luke Lonely, <laughs> Luke Lonely, Tony Kukoc, uh, and some other players, a couple other players made more than Scottie Pippen. How? How is that possible? That's crazy to me. But back to these five red fives, man. Man, these right here, man, are clean, man. Y'all gonna like these, especially the, uh, the leather on here. Back in 2013, 
when Nike and Joint Brand dropped these things right here, buddy, this leather was hard, buddy. Leather, this leather was made of uh, 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 ostrich toenails. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God damn. <laughs> it was that hard, man. It was that hard. I see they did a. Okay, the box just fell. Um, a better job with this, man. I'm, I'm really digging these. Usually on my retros, I usually double up, so I am thinking about uh, doubling up on these right here especially when it comes to the ones with the icy bottom i don't know i just i just like to uh rock one when i want when i get a chance to and i won't <laughs> for those that said i don't rock my sneakers and that's the bottom line what because stone cold said so if you've seen the Jordan 5 5 Red, it is the, the exact same thing um only two things that's different about it than the last um, 2013, uh, 2013 version, as I just said, one is the leather, and two is, man, if you know, if you know your OG sub, man, if you OG sub, you know it's only two things I get on my hype beast about. One is my city, and two, when Nike Air is tatted on back of them cheeks, man. I, like I said, I had the 2013 version, but the leather was trash. It had the jump man on back. On um, my, did I sell them? Yeah, I, I did end up selling them because I, I think maybe about two years ago it was a rumor that these was gonna uh, drop. And once I saw that rumor, I immediately sold my um the uh, fire red, fire red fives that I had, man. But right, these right here, man, awesome, clean, seen, stuffers, man. And most of y'all are familiar with the. The Jordan Fire Red 5 is the same exact color scheme. It's just only two differences. Um, as I just stated, the leather and the Nike Air tatted on the back of them cheeks. So let's get into it. First, you have your, your white leather upper. Then you have a black midsole with the air bubble here. Your red shark teeth. Here you have your uh, your mesh right here with the plastic overlay. We call that the, uh, the cage. You have your white shoelaces that leads to your clear let me thing to focus there we go that leads to your uh clear lace lock that has nike air if you all can see that nike air on it um this is the lace lock base with the red lace lock here you, you gotta this comes in like the og like it used to come back in the day and you have um your reflective tongue red jump man red footbed of the sneak of the shoe then you come onto the back again, of course, the Nike Air on back, which is the highlight to me. Just bring back a lot of memories when I wanted these shoes and mom said, no, you can't get them. You can get two pair and a Reebok for two for 89. <laughs> but uh, your medial side, the same as the outside as well. Um, black midsole cage there is well. And of course you have the, uh, your, your icy bottom red jump man man i'm i'm sorry i'm sorry y'all man i just this the Nike out man it it does it man it just it just makes this shoe a whole lot different man even though the shoe the the leather quality can the the 2013 version leather quality can be the same same color scheme same shoe same name but if it don't if it had that jump man on back and the nike man that it just made a big difference man just the threading on back from a, the nike air and the jump man makes this shoe look a whole lot better man because it's the og form and you always want it uh, 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 uh when you get a retro you want it just like when mike ward man mike then wear with the uh 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 the jump man on back he just had the jump man on the tongue you know what i'm talking about not on the back of them sheets and then honor that man this nwo shirt i got on man with that with the night outside on back of them sheets man it is just too sweet <laughs> Now, just for y'all that don't quite understand what I'm saying about this Nike Air tag on back, the difference is, okay, so you have the, uh, this is the Carmine 6. And so, the original Carmine 6s had Nike Air tatted on back of them cheeks. So, look at this, man. Look at the, look at the difference. That's a big difference, man. May not, may not, like, it may not be to you, but to me, man, it, it makes a 
whole lot different, man. Because like I was saying, it's it's back to his OG form, how Mike Ward. And when these when these retro with the Nike Air tan on back of these tees, y'all know these going right here. I'm probably gonna be wearing these things to work or cutting the grass in the man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna want them no more. We had to basically settle for these because these was the closest thing for the OG. But when they come out with that OG with that Nike Air tatter on back of them cheeks, mm, 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 mm. I know for a fact when these come out, these these Carmine sisters come out with a uh, OG. I know for a fact I will be doubling up on these. Must double up on these. So overall, again, these are some clean scene steppers. Joint brand and Nike did they thing with these. I'm just looking um, to, just to see if I see any flaws as far as the uh, paint goes, any chipping or um, paint running or anything like that. But at least my pair, man, these, they just about, they just about perfect, man. Um, especially for it to be AGR, they did their thing with these. And now with all that being said, what I need you to do is hit that like, Subscribe and come and tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about the five red fives, aka 69 points against them Cleveland Cavaliers back in 1990. But most of all, most of all, man, if this is your first time watching the T Ward YFHB YouTube channel, I just want to take the time to say, Welcome, welcome, welcome. And what I need you to do is Go back into my archives, check out my past videos. Once you do that, hit that subscribe, talk to that subscribe button. Once you hit that subscribe button, there is a bell. And I need you to rock that bell in that corner, man, so you can be a part of the clean scene stepping notification squad, man. Until then, I'm a holler like a dollar. N.W. Straight out Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, I am hey. the T Watster. Hey. Bringing y'all the heat I with like I'm the Georgia Scorcher. <laughs> Waiting for the stars, bruh. Now, bruh, that's that torture. I get the kicks so quick, think they delivered in a Porsche. But I didn't pay retail. No, no, no. no. If I get them, then I got them for the low, low, low. Yeah, like Mike say, get your some. Yeah, get your some. For a couple of them stripper ones. Yeah, them stripper ones. And I need my size 10. Double up, my friend. Why your face be? I'm the top of getting the trend. Yeah, yeah, why a face be? Yeah, 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 you know me. Yeah, yeah. I'm an ATL rapper. Extra mean and my clean sleeve stepper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why a face be? Yeah, you know me. Yeah, I'm a clean sleeve stepper.